Good morning and welcome to the 2020 Mount St. Mary College Athletic Hall of Fame induction ceremony. As I say every year, this is one of my favorite traditions at the Mount. We, not, we learn not just of the athletic prowess of our former student athletes and coaches, but stories of their time on the campus community and friendships they made off the field of play. Today is a special day of celebration and reflection as we induct Lorraine Santa Cruz into the Hall of Fame. Sadly, Lorraine passed away this weekend, but today we will reflect on the numerous contributions she made to the Mount community as a teacher, coach, mentor, administrator, and friend of the college. Our thoughts and prayers are with Lorraine's family at this difficult time, and we also send along our congratulations for this special achievement. This time I'd like to welcome Father Greg Fluitt to offer a brief prayer. And let us pray. Lord our God, we gather to celebrate and honor the life of Lorraine Santa Cruz, a life filled with dedication and service to Mount St. Mary College. As we honor your servant, we ask you to take her now into your loving and tender care. We thank you for all the blessings you sent to our Mount St. Mary College family and to the Academy family through her. May her soul and the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace, amen. I asked um, our athletic director, uh, Jess Mushell, if I could possibly say a very, very brief word about Lorraine uh, because she really became a very good friend of mine and really a great supporter of campus ministry here at Mount St. Mary. You know, when you come into a situation as a new person into uh, whatever kind of situation you're in, you generally meet two types of people. You meet the type that uh, want you to know without any question that you're the newbie and that you will not be a part of this thing, that they have been a part of this thing for the past 97 years, and until you pass a threshold of 35 years, you will not be a part of this thing. And then you also meet the second type of person who from the very first moment you meet them, you sense that you're a member of the institution that you have just joined. You sense you're a member of the family and you even sense in a small way that somehow, some way, you should have been here. You should have been a part of this family even longer than you've been. Uh, that for me was Lorraine from the very first moment when I met her at daily mass in the Dominican chapel, one of these 11.30 a.m. masses, from that very, very first moment on, uh, that was Lorraine, and she proved to be a tremendous support to campus ministry and to me personally. And so as we, we honor her, and I, I'm just delighted to be a part of this ceremony and grateful to be a part of this ceremony, I can't help but say thank you to her this was a woman of incredible faith. This was a moment, uh, this was a woman of incredible generosity of spirit. I'm going to miss that faith. I'm going to miss the laughs. And I will especially miss her goodness. But you know something? She hasn't finished because from heaven, and I do believe she's in heaven, I don't think there's a, a question there. From heaven, she'll be praying for all of us, especially Mount St. Mary College. God bless you all. Thank you. It is my distinct honor and privilege to induct Lorraine Santa Croce, as she wanted me to always call her, into this august and distinguished body as a coach, as a teacher, and as an unbelievable supporter of Mount St. Mary College. We cannot thank and honor her memory enough. May she rest in peace, and may she stir just as much trouble up there as she did down here. Thank you. At this time, we'll formally induct Lorraine Santa Cruz into the Mount St. Mary Athletic Hall of Fame. Lorraine Santa Cruz started her tenure at Mount St. Mary College as the athletic director in the dawn of the college. It was New York State standard regulation that each graduate had physical edu education credit to graduate. Sister Mary Frances McDonald asked Coach Santa Cruz to help the students to fulfill their requirement to graduate. Lorraine, with her bachelorette and master's degree in physical education from Ithaca College, was teaching grades three through 12 
at the Mount St. Mary Academy and Bishop Dunn Memorial School, stepped up to the plate and gave these young women experiences that they still reminisce about today. Lorraine taught volleyball, tennis, bowling, basketball, as well as cheerleading. In the academic year of 1968-1969, Lorraine was approached to asked to join a basketball tournament with other Catholic colleges such as Mercy, Dominican, Elizabeth Seton, and Good Counsel. Mount St. Mary College was considered the underdog, but Lorraine gave the team a pep talk they still remember. Sue Greenhagen, class of 1969, recalls, Lorraine kept telling us, you can win this. We began to, we began to believe her, and by golly, we did win. With Coach Santa Cruz's expertise and guidance, Mount St. Mary College won the college's first tournament in 1969. Lorraine left the Mount in 1979 after many years of building strong relationships with the Dominican sisters and her students. She still has fond memories of those days and remains in contact with many of the sisters and her students. Lorraine Santa Cruz's love for the Mount is reflected with her donations of the benches at the south end of the Dominican Center the flagpole at the baseball field, and the warm-up jackets the women's basketball team wears today. She has also established a scholarship for current students. She is a committed friend of Mount St. Mary College, and the college cannot thank her enough for what she has done for us. May God bless Lorraine, and congratulations. Accepting Lorraine's award is Lynn Frank. If Lorraine were physically in this room today, she would be thanking everybody in the room here. But she would also be finding out what your affiliation with the Mount was. Before she would meet you, you knew that she just loved this institution and she just always wanted to know why you were here and why you loved the institution. So it's with a heavy heart but great joy that I accept the, this award on her behalf. Lorraine was one of the most grateful people I have ever met. She ends a conversation always with thank you. Today we're here to thank her. We thank her for building the foundation of our athletics program. And we also thank her for coaching the girls basketball team of 1968-69 and bringing them to the first tournament championship in Mount St. Mary College history. It was actually a fluke that uh, they were even invited to the tournament. Uh, they were, uh, another, another team withdrew from the tournament and they were like, well, maybe we'll ask them out. And sure enough, uh, they did. And, um, and it, they were the, the underdogs the whole time and ended up taking the championship. I spoke to many of Coach Santa Cruz's athletes uh, during the process of the induction into the uh, Hall of Fame. And there was always one common thread in the, the conversation. Although Lorraine coached the team as a whole, her style was to give time, advice, and instruction to each individual team member. Lorraine coached the whole person. She looked at each player not so much as an athlete, but as a person who needed to fine tune and grow as a person. This trait in her never changed. Just a few days ago, I stood in her hospital room and a student nurse came in to say, to say that it was the end of her shift and that she wanted to say goodbye to Lorraine, but she also wanted to thank Lorraine for wanting her to do her job better. Lorraine was a true reflection of the love of Christ. She loved everyone where they are and for who they are. Although never a biological mother herself, she loves like an unconditional mother. When I told her about this ceremony, she said in a shallow breath, I loved my job, I loved my job. Coach Santa Cruz, we love you. We will never forget for what you did for Mount St. Mary and welcome to the Mount St. Mary College Hall of Fame. Thank you. On behalf of Sue Greenhagen, class of 1969, we'll now read Santa Filomena by Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. 
When our noble deed is wrought, when our is spoken a noble thought, our hearts in glad surprise to higher levels rise. The tidal wave of deeper souls into our inmost being rolls and lifts us unawares out of all meaner cares. Honor to those whose words or deeds thus help us in our daily needs, and by their overflow, rise us from what is low. Thus thought I, as by night I read, of the great army of the dead, the trenches cold and damp, the starved and frozen camp, the wounded from the battle plain in dreary hospitals of pain, the cheerless corridors, the cold and stony floors. Lo, in that house of misery, a lady with a lamp I see, pass through the glimmering gloom and fit from room to room. And slow as in the dream of bliss, the speechless sufferer turns to kiss, her shadow as it falls upon the darkening walls. As if a door in heaven should be, opened and then closed suddenly. The vision came and went, the light shone and was spent. On Ingle's annals through the long hereafter of her speech and song, the light it rays shall cast from portals of the past. A lady with a lamp shall stand in the great history of the land, a noble type of good, heroic womanhood. Nor even shall be wanting here the palm, the lily, and the spear, the symbols that are your, St. Philomena Bohr. This time I'd like to welcome Mount St. Mary College Assistant Athletic Director Trevor Purcell for closing remarks. On behalf of the Mount St. Mary College Athletic Department, it is with great honor to celebrate the career of Lorraine Santa Cruz. Coach Santa Cruz was a true Mount pioneer. She paved the way for our successful women's basketball program and had a large impact on her players both on and off the court. Her achievements and dedication to this department will never be forgotten. Like we say around here, once a night, always a night.